how to use short on margin trading on Binance. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you guys how you can make profits and manage risks with shorting stocks or shorting crypto on Binance. So let's get into it. Now, what does shorting mean on margins on Binance and how can you really do it? Now, first off, before we get into anything, you need to first create your account on Binance. It is a simple process. You have to sign up by your email address or your phone number and a password and then you will have to verify your phone number and once you have done that your Binance account will be created. You can get started by depositing via a bank deposit, credit or debit card transfer or even P2P to third-party payment options as well and then you can begin your margin trading or shorting on a Binance. So let's get into it now. Over here I have opened up the bot trading or the actual trading chart on Binance. You're going to open this up and then you're gonna get started with your journey now before i get into how you do it we need to understand what we are exactly doing so what we are doing is that for example if the price of a btc so i've opened up the chart for btc uh, or busd so you can see this is the price for busd presently and you can see over here we have this graph indicative of how many usdt or busd it is currently worth and you can see it is worth around 20,822 or 21. And then you can see if you expect the price to go lower, then you would sell the BTC or whatever coin or token you might have. So you would sell the BTC over here. But if this is the lowest price, then you would buy more. And if you're expecting it to go up, then you would buy a bunch of BTC at this price and then sell it when the price goes up. So for example, if I go behind on the charts over here and I sh I'll show you guys. So for example, when the price over here for example so you can see that if i saw the price at this margin over here i would see that the price for btc is going to increase and if that was my prediction i would actually invest more money in btc even though it would currently be at a decreasing price or the price of btc would be decreasing and then i would put in more money or buy more btc and then when the price goes up to this point over here when the price reached around thirty one thousand, then i would sell it and then because i would be expecting the price to go back down so that is what shorting margins means on binance or any other crypto trading platform and how do you exactly do that well if you have opened up your chart over here you can see there are multiple different currencies available on the multiple different crypto coins or tokens available you can search for any token you want you can do this with any token you don't have to do it with btc you can do it with smaller tokens as well like polka dot or some other token whatever you might want xrp for example so let's open up xrp you can see over here i've opened up this token and for a lot of people it might be easier to understand in smaller number games so you can see the price for xrp is 0.3 now if i scroll down over here i have the spot cross 3x and isolated 3x so what you're going to do is first off you're going to buy your xrp so you're going to enter the amount of xrp you want you can choose whatever you want so you can see xrp is currently at 0.34 and maybe i expect the price of xrp xrp to go up from here so what i would do is i would buy my xrp over here so i would enter the usdt that i have for example, I'm going to buy around $90 worth of XRP. So you would enter that and you would enter the amount of XRP you want. And then below that, it would show you the total money that it is going to cost you. You can see the availability of USDT and XRP, whatever you might want. So below that, you have to choose it on 100% and you have to just click on buy XRP. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the market over here. You can also see the available USDT over here. And then once you have purchased your token or whatever BTC, XRP, whatever token you have then you're going to choose to sell it from over here and then what you can also do is you can click on cross 3x over here and you can actually go and manage risks so what you're going to do to manage risk is that you can click on your normal borrow or repay you also have transfer and borrow options and then you also have isolated 3x so if you go in uh, into a isolated 10x pair you can choose that if the price is going to hit a certain amount then to automatically trade or change your 
shares. So if we take a look at the stop limit options over here, you also have a trading stop. So you have a trailing stop over here and you also have repaying options as well. But if you go on to the cross option over here, you can click on borrow over here. So if I go on to my cross 3x over here, so I'm going to open up the cross 3x and then what you're going to do is you're going to limit it uh, to the borrowing. And then what you're going to do is you're going to enter the amount of XRP you have and sell your XRP at a specific price. So when the XRP reaches a specific price, it could automatically be sold or when it drops to a certain price, it could start to sell your XRP. So that is how simple and easy it is to short margins on Binance. You can do a lot more as well. And you have a lot of other options for spot trading as well. Now, if we take a look over here, they also have specific margins over here, such as your transfer, borrowing, trading, and repaying options. So you can do margin trading in this way. You have spot trading in a lower risk form. That is what margin trading usually is for most people. So let's say if you don't have your money, you can click on borrow and then borrow some USDT or XRP or whatever coin you might want from other traders as well as Binance. So that is all the basics of margin trading. Now you can do this in a long term view as well as a short term, but mostly these kinds of trades are done in terms of a shorter term view. A lot of long term trades are not going to be based on that for long term investment holdings. You're going to have a different level and you can also see the risk all of your transactions as well. And you're not going to be including fees over here. So you're going to have to account for those separately as well. But these are going to be your simple ways that you can manage risk. So for example, I have 50% on over here and borrow, I would want to borrow 10 USDT and then I would just borrow the uh, USDT to cross for XRP. Now currently this is a empty account but you're going to deposit some money or deposit your actual holdings any kind of crypto that you have in your initial Binance wallet before you can actually begin using short trading with Binance. You can use credit cards or you can do a bank deposit or transfer for this purpose as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms. And if you have any details that you might want to know, any suggestions, any improvements that you think that I could add on to these videos, then please do leave them in the comment box down below and I will make a few Future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video